All right, let's start it. So we got username equals him. So we got username. So we have username equals, uh, I'm just gonna put tester. Um, and then we're gonna do username, or we're gonna do password equals, we'll just put password for that because it doesn't matter for what we're doing. Uh, and then we're gonna pass both of those, both the, both the username and the password into a variable called auth info. So we're gonna do auth info equals, and then username plus password. And then below that, we're actually gonna convert that to a string um, that we can then pass our authentication info into. So we'll do simply auth info equals um, system dot convert. Two base string. Oops, sorry, two base sixty four string. System dot text dot encoding. Default dot get bytes. And then we're going to pass in our authentic auth info. Auth info. All right, next we're going to actually set up our URI. So the next step that we usually do is we're going to make our request to get our agent's ID from Team City. And to do that, we're going to first set up our URI that we're going to send the request to. So we're going to do uh, URI and we're going to do uh, pass in a couple. Now we're going to actually pass in a couple of Team City variables. Okay, so the first one we're going to pass in is percent team city dot server url and then percent okay so this is going to be your team city server url all right i know it's pretty self-explanatory but i want to refresh and re-explain that kind of thing then we'll simply do http auth app rest agents name and now the name we want to do Basically, what I want to do here is we want to get the name of the agent that we're running on and then get the ID for that agent. So the next thing we need to do is do percent team city dot agent dot name, oops, name percent slash ID. So basically, that URI is how we're going to return our ID. Next, we're going to set up our actual web request is going to be sent to the URI. To do that, we need to first set up a security protocol so we can basically not run into a ton of errors um, when we run these things. So it'll ignore some cert errors, et cetera. Then we're going to set up our web request, um, basically our create URI. Uh, and then we're going to set up our headers, our pre-authentication, and then we're going to get our response from our web request. And we're going to use that ID in the next portion of it. So let's start that. So first we do net dot service point manager. Then we're going to do two do security protocol. We'll do net dot security protocol. And we're going to do TLS dash B O R. And we're going to do a, another dot net security protocol type. So we're going to do net security protocol type. 
TLS. Sorry, TLS 11 is what we want here. And dash more. And then we're going to do net dot security protocol. And then TLS 12. Okay, so basically, again, this is just to kind of help with the response types that comes back. Uh, sometimes you can get an error while you're running this PowerShell script. It can be really confusing. So these are going to going to help us with the protocols as we move along. Uh, the next part is we're going to set up our web request. So we'll do uh, we'll call it web request. And then we'll do equals, and then we'll do system dot net dot web request. And then create. And then inside that create that we just did, we're going to pass in our URI. URI. Now we'll do another web request equals, and we'll do, actually, you know what? Let's do our headers. Let's web request dot headers. And then we want to pass in that auth our authentication. So we'll do authorization and then have to put that in the quotes. I apologize for that. And then we're going to do equals basic. And then we're going to do plus. And then we're going to pass in our auth info that we set up up top. Next, we're going to set up our pre authentication and we're going to set that to true. So we'll just do. Uh, web request dot pre authorization. Actually, this is pre authenticate, isn't it? Authenticate equals and then percent true. Next, we'll do our web request get response. So we'll do system dot net dot web response. And then we'll pass that to a variable called resp for response. So we'll do resp equals, and then we'll do request.get response. Next, we'll create a variable called rs. So we'll do percent rs, and we will equal that to our response. Resp, and we'll do. response stream so we can get the response from it. And then next we'll do create a new object for our stream reader. So we'll do system dot io dot stream reader. And we'll do s equals net. System dot io dot stream reader pass an argument argument list note that capital L there <clears throat> and we'll do rs uh, and finally we're gonna set our we're gonna we finally have our d response back so we're gonna actually set that back to set that to um, the ID that came back in the response. <clears throat> so to do that, we'll do a string. And we'll do, we'll set up a variable called ID, which is our team city agent ID. And then we will do um, sr dot read to and then I messed up here. I actually spelled did this sr. And this is actually supposed to be a dollar sign. There we go. And then next, um, you can do this for debug purposes, but you can do a, a write out so you kind of know when your PowerShell script is running, what it's actually trying to do. Um, so basically, we're just going to print out uh, rebooting agent ID equals whatever the string ID that's returned. 
So we'll do write dash output. And then we'll do rebooting agent ID. And then we will simply just pass in our ID that came back. All right, so that is the first portion of the PowerShell script. So the first portion is that we uh, want to set up our request to get the agent that we're actually executing on's ID back. Once we have that ID, we can now move to the second portion, which is um, creating a request to reboot the agent with the following ID, which is the ID that we just got returned. Um, so the next portion of it is actually very similar, right? So we set up our, our we're going to set up another URI. Then we're going to um, basically do every exact same step that we just did um, with the slight difference at the bottom. Basically, we don't need it to return anything anymore. We don't need it to set any variable. We're just going to actually set a re already request to have the agent rebooted. Um, so to do that, our URI is a little bit different. So we're going to do a dollar sign. We'll do URI equals. equals um, the same variable. So we're going to run team city dot server URL. And again, this is just the URL of your server. Um, and then we're going to do HTTP auth and we'll do remote access reboot dot HTML. And then we will do um, agent and this is where our ID comes in that we just got back. So we'll do ID and then uh, and reboot after build. So this last variable is basically when you do it from the UI, you get a um, you get a pop up that says reboot after build is done, and you either set it to true or false. Obviously, if it's false, it'll reboot immediately. If it's set to true, it will wait until the build is completed. And then we'll initiate uh, whatever build is running on the agent at the time. It'll initiate a restart. So again, that was teamcity.server URL. Um, and then HTTP auth, remote access, reboot.html, agent. Um, and then um, I messed one problem here. I actually put a percent sign rather than an, a dollar sign there. Um, and then the final parameter is reboot after build true. So um, the following part is, um, again, we're going to just repeat the steps that we just did for the ID above. Um, so there's a couple things that you could do here to make this a little bit faster. Um, you could literally just come up here, copy from this point, uh, copy and paste. Um, and what's going to happen here is basically the exact same thing um, that we just did above, right? Um, we're just setting up our web request and we want the you know, we don't really need the response this time. So we're not doing any of the response stuff, which was from RS down. I'm sorry, from um, web request .get response. We don't need that information for uh, the actual request to reboot the agent. That's why we're not putting it here. So the last thing that we're gonna do on the end of this uh, is to simply um, just end it. So we're gonna do dollar sign SR dot read to end. Uh, and that is it. That is the PowerShell script that will restart a team agent. Um, or I'm sorry, is a PowerShell script that will restart the agent on Team City. Um, and basically, you just add this as a script. So what you'll do in Team City is you will, under your build steps, you'll select a runner type of PowerShell. Um, you'll name it, whatever you want to name it. I name mine reboot agent, obviously, because it's very straightforward. Uh, and then for script, you just do source code and paste this code into your source code uh, in the Team City step, and then uh, save and make sure that that build step is enabled. And whenever it runs, it will, depending on if you have your reboot after build agent equals true, set to true or false, will reboot the agent either 
immediately or after the build is completed.